and welcome back to our Let's Play of Diablo 1. I am Chubby Cheese at the latter half of Three Heart Runners, and today we are going to be going down to level 4. So let us commence down to level 4. Now, this should be our last level of this particular background, I guess I could put it, um, before we start descending down a little bit further into hell and whatnot. Um, so. It stays pretty easy through here, like I said, I've already given you all the techniques and whatnot, so basically you're just going to see me running through the motions. And we got to level up, which is going to be good. I need, to, I need to do this a little bit more often, because if I don't do this very often, then I completely forget uh, where I've spent all my points and whatnot. As I've said before, you want a lot of vitality in this, and if you need to because you want to be able to spend a lot of your time down in the dungeon without having to go up to town constantly. It makes this game take a lot longer. This game is not long at all. I mean, you can really, if you if you wanted to struggle through it, you could beat it in one sit. Kill all the rest of these guys and we'll go make that. Level up here. How's everybody doing? It's been a little while since I've done a video again. Yet again, I apologize, but we decided to take a little bit of time off. Um, Casey had to get a surgery, and and you know him as just Gray Fox, but he uh, he needed to get that stuff done. And I was there to support him and just trying to you know make th make ends meet. My family is actually uh, getting ready to move into a new house, so it's been a lot of work. But I'm back into the groove now, and hopefully we'll keep things going. Getting a lot of mana potions. Go ahead and stay up with that for now. I forgot I left my guide upstairs. Hopefully I won't run into any... Uh, Hello. Anything like that. Oh yes, and by the way, I did get a quest, Ogden sign. Master, I have a strange experience to relate. I know that you have a this great run. knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth, and this is something that I cannot understand for the very life of me. I was awakened during the night by a scraping sound just outside of my tavern. When I looked out from my bedroom, I saw the shapes of small demon-like creatures in the inn yard. After a short time they ran off but not before stealing the sign to my inn. I don't know why the demons would steal my sign, but leave my family in peace. Tis strange, no? That's yeah, a little strange, but... Video games today, what do you expect? So let us continue. can get a tad bit of annoying flush clan, especially the ones that shoot arrows. My vitality is pretty high, they don't do a lot of damage to me and uh, uh, But uh they run away. So they're more cowards to clan. Look at that here in a second. But they do a lot of movement. So you end up having to chase quite a few of them. Like I said, they're big pain in the heads. But we'll get them. They don't do a lot of damage. They get a little bit. They get a little bit tougher uh, down in the next level because there's a ton of them. Um, as of right now, as you can see, I mean, there there aren't tons and tons of enemies. I mean, especially if you played games like, you know, the second Diablo or, you know, stuff like that. Compared to that, there aren't there aren't that many enemies. But that's just the thing is, these enemies do a lot of damage. Uh, do a lot. Of singular enemies do a lot of damage. I mean, there'll, there'll be lots of mobs at some point, but 
this is a spot where you kind of have to be careful because one explosion can set all of these off and kill you in one ear, which would be hysterical considering this is only the fourth level. Trying to keep the conversation going, it's not doing, not doing a very good job at this, but. Currently working on Paper Mario. Uh, let me finally give Just Great Fox, or Casey, his, uh, his single player game. Stuff healing. Get rid of that. Which is fun, he's flying through that right now. Um, we're about probably the we're through the first couple of, uh, I guess we can call them dungeons or temples with that. It's a great game. I love all the Mario RPGs, they're so quirky and they're just, they're just fun. They, they just don't make RPGs like, they, like those anymore. Uh, as you can see, those guys eat their, eat their dead so they can regain life can be a little annoying. Now you can start to see why having lots of stamina can really be helpful in this. Because if you didn't right here, you just not take damage left I mean, we are building a tank class. Anybody who has ever played an RPG understands what a tank class is and how it works. So. As you can see, I'm using things in my inventory before I start using the hotkeys. Because I have the time, and of course we get a shrine. Just a second. I might not even touch it. It might be a good shrine, I might just do ignoring it. Shove. Could do something bad. So let's keep an eye on this and see what happens. Time cannot diminish the power of steel. It looks like it might have repaired my durability. So who knows? I'll look it up after after I'm done. Maybe say something about it in the next video. All right. So, I don't have a lot of room up here anymore. 
got plenty of. Let's see. Now, here's the thing is. Minus dark uh, to light radius can be a good thing. Now, I'm not going to be using this because it's got no other value other than the minus to, to light radius. What that means is my character is not going to glow as much, so I don't pull as much aggro as I usually would. But we'll keep that and we'll go ahead and sell that. I'm going to go ahead and... and uh, go back to town and sell some stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. And welcome back after that short break. Let us continue this dungeon. What the heck was that? Just the whole time. Okay, so obviously we've cleared this area up here pretty nicely. Looks good. Start heading back the other direction. This game can kind of become a little bit formulaic. In some ways, just kind of go from one thing to another, to another, to another, to another. But it does get exciting towards the end, and it does get pretty damn hard, um, to say the least. I mean, anybody who's played this before understands that completely. found a copy of Baldur's Gate, which makes me really happy. I think I'm going to do a Let's Play of that at some point. Although I need to play through it first. I think I might do that after this as well. But I've also got... I kind of want to do plans for zombies. I mean, I know that's a little uh, cliche. A lot of people have done that, but that game's just a lot of fun to play. And it deserves all the credit that it gets, because it's damn good. Um, I might... I'm thinking about possibly doing yet another run through Demon Souls as a different character. I actually played through the game again, um, setting it up so I did more of a samurai style dexterity um, built character, and I did not allow myself to use uh, did not allow myself to use shield, which was actually a lot of fun. I want to do it just fist only, um, and fist weapons, of course, um, to make it a little difficult if it's you're just punching people and punching people and punching people. But that's kind of my goal with that, is to do more of a fist weapons only kind of feel. Um, so we can talk about games I'm looking forward to. Um, Heart of the Swarm is going to be pretty sweet. Um, I'm very excited about that. I'm not a very good StarCraft player. I am in StarCraft 1, but StarCraft 2. I've never been all that great at it. Um, which has been... Uh, but I'm still really excited for that. I enjoy playing that game quite a bit. Um, the Wii U is going to be having The Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask, which is my favorite Zelda game, re uh, re redone, which is going to be killer. Um, and then I also saw the, uh, the video play for um, The Last of Us, which is really exciting for me. Um, I enjoy those types of games where... It's more built on scrounging and barely surviving rather than getting lots and lots and lots of ammunition and being able to blow people away. At least that's the style of shooters that I like. I love survival horror has kind of always been my my lot in life when it comes to video games and movies and those kinds of things. And it kind of has that towards it too. Um, I am thinking about doing a let's play. Uh, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, um, we might do, I, I think what I'm going to do is more of a, let's screw around in Borderlands 2, because I'll probably get it for my, my PlayStation 3, and then me and just Gray Fox just run around and you know, try to do funny shit, and 
just have a good old time doing that kind of stuff. Um, that's, but yeah, that's a game that I'm really looking forward to as well. Um, ooh, pick up that club. Oh, yes, I forgot to show you. Got a new quest here, Ogden Sign, uh, which we already go over, but the Magic Rock, which is going to be in the next area. Um, that will give me actually a really nice uh, ring um, that I'll be able to use. Um, again, I'll have to find that in the next couple areas. It shouldn't be. At least I don't think it'll be. Sometimes it randomly appears in certain areas. You, you, you never know. Sometimes you'll find Too it in much places baggage. where you never thought you would find something like that before. That's what's so great about Diablo. So, missed a chest. Alright, we're almost to this, uh, questing area right here. Um, these guys are actually coming out of the area where I'm supposed to pick up the sign. This can be kind of annoying, because the first thing you, the first thing that you actually have to do, it won't let you open up this chest, is you gotta go talk to the little, this little critter that's, uh, this little demon that's down here. He'll let you open up the chest, you take the sign, you bring it back to him, and then you have to kill a swarm of enemies. So, I like to kill these guys first. Alright. Oops, that's a good axe, actually. I'm gonna use that. I didn't sell that. Oh, yeah, it's because I gotta sell it to what's her face no wonder why I was wondering what... all right let's head down here gotta remember to go there can't forget that actually we'll explore around this area first pretty sure it's not much more to this save this for last because that's the way you head down so we'll head back towards the area um, we started out I know I'm taking a bit of a long way around but I've also been uh, getting up my skills in Warcraft 3 again I used to be a really good player of that game and been practicing quite a bit, me and just Gray Fox are planning on doing some some things with that as well. I've played one game online um, since I quit a while ago, and I actually uh, I actually did quite well. I've been watching and learning and trying to get myself back up to uh, you know, back up to the skills that I had. It's a lot different than when I when I played it years ago. I mean, when I first you know played the game, it was. It was a whole different story, but now it's there's there's a lot more strategy involved in it. And there's a lot more demand on players, which is a good thing, I think. Makes players good, but it's got a it's got a tight learning curve, and just Gray Fox is getting there. <laughs> it took me a while too. I can't make fun of him all that much because I'm not even the best at the game, and. I don't think I ever will be, but I have a lot of fun playing it. In fact, I'll probably play around online after I'm done with this video here, but I'm trying to do a lot of uploading today, so we'll see what comes of it. There we go. Let's go left first. Hmm. All praises to Diablo, <laughs> Lord of... <laughs> I love it when they have enemies in there and I can't sit and listen to it. It's not a quest either.
probably going to avoid touching that. Like I said, I could be missing out on something that's good. I'd rather not even say. Too I much baggage. Some of this stuff. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of that right now because you always get a, have a pretty decent item. Go up here. You always get a pretty decent item when you, uh, when you go through when you play this uh, Ogden sign. Okay, would you move, please? I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this one more time just in case some idiot is watching my video. I don't know off the top of my head what all these things do. Some of them have negative effects. That is why I'm not touching it because I want to finish this video. I'm not gonna just pause and walk upstairs to grab my guide to look at it. If it has a negative effect, I don't want it because one of the th one of the hardest parts about this game is since I'm doing a challenge run, is that you can end up screwing up your game. And I want to be able to win, so I'm not going to be touching that. Just, just in case anybody's like, well, "Why didn't you touch that?" Because not all of them are good. Back in my day, video games didn't hold your hand when you played the game. You had to get good at them, and they punished you for not being good. All right, we talked to this guy first. Hey, you that one that kill all. You get me magic banner, or we attack. You no live with life. You kill big at least and give back magic. Go past corner and door, find at least. You give, you go. Calm down, buddy. So like I said, we already killed the uglies. That's what he's referring to. So we'll go get the sign. Now this can be a little easier if you have a scroll of firewall, which I'm hoping I get pretty soon, because this game can get really hard if you don't have it. So let's head back down here and give him a sign and see how big of a jerk he is. And here we go. You give? Yes, good. Go now. We strong. We kill all with big magic. <laughs> Trick to this is just running to the door and just kind of sort of holding ship and slashing the crab out of him. Like I said, if I had a firewall, this would be a lot easier. I don't right now, so... We got a ring drop, so that's good. Or an amulet, it could be one of the two. I thought it was a ring. Jackasses, so really quick. Make sure we got all the areas on our map. Oops. Looks good. And that will be it for today. I am Chubby Cheese at the latter half of the three hard runners. And we will see you again soon. Take care.